Campbell sent off after kicking the ball away. In my opinion, extremely harsh. And then came the controversial penalty decision. A first glance indicates that the Blues were hard done by. Noel Bailey indicating that he headed cleanly. But on the slow-mo, watch Alan Dornan, number two. There appears to be a slight push. It may have been unintentional. Irrespective, Magnuson just about scored his 67th goal for the club in the 67th minute. The remaining 23 minutes were sheer hell for the Blues. First, Haylock was booked for a pretty innocuous challenge. And then the Icelanders peppered the Linfield goal. Linfield lucky not to be two or three goals down. After substitute, Tommy McElroy got a yellow card for this challenge. FH had another couple of rattles at Wes Lamont. And then Haylock, after a foolish challenge, was sent off. And that rounded off an ill-disciplined and dismal evening for Linfield. Obviously disappointed with their discipline tonight. Um, to be honest, until uh, Remy Campbell was sent off, I don't, I don't think they were ever going to score, but obviously it put you under pressure. I've looked at the panel and then I still can't make my mind up. But uh, there's still 90 minutes to go and uh, we'll be giving it our all in winter. A couple of sendings off as well, as you say, that surely didn't please you too much. No, discipline was unbelievable. Uh, the ball was out of play and Soupy kicked it away. You know, he deserved to be punished for that. I've, I keep telling them the tackle of Gary's, I don't know, I think he just lost his head at the end. And uh, that's, that's not what football's about. Uh, I keep preaching discipline because if you're disciplined outside the ground and, and you're disciplined when you're training on the pitch that you carry over. It just didn't happen tonight, so uh, very disappointed. The preliminary round. Norman, oh, did well to win it. Oh, yes, Speedy! Oh, put it out! Let's swing it in. Oh, Stowe, it's off, but it's in the net! And that's that man there, yes, Gorman. Gorman get in here, got the head to it. Peoples arrives, Gorman, here's Peebles. Oh, yes! 3 1 to Linfield are certainly back in business. But can they do the business tonight? Well, the Omens are good. Last year, Linfield beat another Danish side, FC Copenhagen, 3 0 here at Windsor Park. Later on in the. Nicely taken, it's low, oh it's a deflection, it's an on goal, and what a tragedy for Linfield. And here it is, good free kick, well worked. So the Linfield fans for the moment, quiet. Number 14, Steen Pedersen, it is, in fact. And there you can see some disappointed Linfield fans heading for the exits. We're inside the last five minutes. It's difficult to see Linfield retrieving this situation. Pedersen gives it to Niedergaard. It's a bad ball for the fullback. Gets it back though. Oh, nice skill. Did well. Linfield got it out. It was Dornan. Fenlon to hit it long. 
Peebles could pick this up here. Could be something on here for Linfield. Oh, they could be in. It's in the net. Brilliant goal. Anderson and the crowd are on their feet. Mark Anderson, his first goal of the season, and what a time to get it. I did say there could be something on, and for Linfield, there certainly was. They're not leaving. Ready to take the corner kick. That's a header, it's a goal. It's 1-0. I think it's Bosco Boynik. It is the 19-year-old. The sting in the tail for Linfield. Four minutes left. Glancing header. It's 1-0.